It's, it's devastating. I mean, what we've got to remember is that the AM Ghent was in February 21. The OS 35 was in August 2022. And this is now the latest one, 2023. Uh, it's three in a row. Whilst it's not a long-term trend by any means, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it's worrying uh, the frequency in which we're having these, these oil spills at the moment. Uh, what damage can an oil spill like this do to the marine environment? So in the first instance, all the black stuff that washes up on the, on the beach that you see here behind me that we're trying to clean up as quickly as possible, all of that kills a lot of the invertebrates that are on the shore, a lot of the mollusks, a lot of the crabs, and they form food for other species later on. So octopus and other things that then form a, a, a longer chain, I think fish that then we rely on. Um, if you take away that food source for them, what starts to happen is, is that you see these effects up the ecosystem. And the research shows that an oil spill like this, the effects of that oil spill, will last in the ecosystem up to about 10 years. So it really is long term. If we're having an oil spill every year, we're resetting that 10 year clock, and we're actually doing a lot of damage long term. Then there's a second part to it, which is yesterday, if you got the images yesterday, you would have seen that there was a very strong southwest, a southwest that's coming in again today. And what that does is it mixes that black oil, so it thins it out, and that starts uh, spreading vertically throughout the water column. Now, this starts affecting filter feeders, mussels, uh, it affects all sorts of uh, other invertebrates that are in the, the water column. And again, what we have is these effects affecting fish, lowering reproductive rates, lowering the full size of fish, lowering reproductive rates in crabs. These are all very well documented in the literature, and, and these are the effects that we're going to see around here. You've got a, a team of volunteers here today doing a clean-up operation, uh, but it's going to be a pretty difficult one to carry out, isn't it? it it's, it's very difficult. However much you, you try and clean it up, uh, the oil is absolutely everywhere in every nook and cranny, and it's practically impossible to, to remove all the oil, but we're going to be here to, to remove as much as possible.